he dissected out the stomach of the flea and once again he noticed that the plague bacillus was the bacterium that was present uh, in the stomach of the rat flea. Risking his own life, Simond went out into the streets and caught a plague-infected rat. Above it, just out of reach, he suspended a healthy animal. He wanted to see how long it would take the plague rat to transmit the disease. He knew that there were fleas on the fur of this rat, and these fleas could then jump to the healthy rat and transmit the plague bacillus to the healthy rat. The plague-infected rat soon died, but for days the healthy rat showed no signs of disease. Then, after five days, the healthy rat suddenly became sick and died of plague. Simond realized that plague was spread when flea-infested rats died and the fleas jumped to a new host.